Welcome to District 3. We are standing here along Northridge Road in front of the Para Park Pavilion that was recently built where we hosted the archery competition. I want to talk to you this morning about some things going on in District 3. Uh, first of all, as we all know, we are fortunate to experience lots of growth here in District 3. Uh, that's mostly a good thing, but of course there are some challenges that come along with it, uh, traffic being one of them. I want to talk to you about some road improvements that we're making to hopefully help alleviate some of the traffic problems. We're going to make some improvements along Rice Mine Road in two places. Starting this fall, we are going to put a right-hand turn lane in the southbound lane of Rice Mine Road at MAPCO to move traffic along the southbound lane of Rice Mine Road more quickly through there, hopefully to alleviate congestion at that intersection. In addition, we're going to make a third lane, or really a fourth lane, at the Bryant Bridge so that we turn two left turn lanes onto the Bryant Bridge. That should move traffic through that intersection more quickly as well, hopefully freeing up the whole uh, corridor there. While we're talking about roads, I want to uh, let you know that we were fortunate to have secured funding to add uh, several lights just across the dam along New Watermelon Road. If you live up there, you probably have noticed that. I drive up there at night uh, often and it was very dark across the dam, so we now have lighting. I want to talk to you just a minute about some improvements we're going to make to Sokol Park. You may know that we have two what we call regional parks here in Tuscaloosa. That's Bowers Park and Sokol Park. At Sokol Park, we're going to be adding additional uh, rectangular fields, as the park people call them. And that will give us fields to play additional soccer as well as flag football on those will be located in North Sokol Park. We will add parking there as well because for those of you who have been up there, there's not enough parking when we're all there playing sports. In addition to that, we will be adding uh, bathrooms in South Sokol Park and making uh, additional concession stands near the softball field area. Coming soon, we will be having a mountain bike race in Sokol Park. Those of you who have visited Sokol Park have undoubtedly seen the beautiful trails that we have there. We will be showcasing that area uh, soon with a mountain bike race. Probably the number one complaint I get from my constituents here in District 3 is speeding in neighborhoods. It's a problem that's difficult to solve and one that I've worked with many of you with uh, over the last several years. We have purchased a second what I call speed trailer and the speed trailer is the trailer you see that has a flashing light that says your speed is. If you would like to have that come to your neighborhood to help slow down your your neighbors uh, from speeding, please contact me and let me know and we'll be sure to get the police to put it out there for you. If you ever have a need uh, in, in your neighborhood, this district or, or any district, please feel free to contact me. You can reach me in several ways. You can call me on my cell phone which is 393-5663, or you can send me an email, CynthiaAlmond at BellSouth.net. I look forward to speaking with you.